Warframe Stigma Of all the stigmas of Warframe, mastery is one of, if not the worst. So I'm covering a way to fix mastery. Again. Now, I must say, this new pitch is a rather radical one. Why doesn't mastery work? I think there is some use to monitoring player progression by the amount of equipment you've used in the past, but I don't see the use in limiting player progression this way. As far as I know, no other game does that. No other game demands having used a massive amount of weapons to be allowed to use others. Or rather, no other game uses the concept of mastery fodder. And a system of mastery fodder doesn't do this game much good either. So I would say, remove the damn thing. Or at least, don't make it essential to play the game. You might be asking, but Warframe Stigma, without mastery, how will there be a means of regulating content access for players of different levels of experience? Well, just replace the mastery system with the traditional leveling system. Instead of a mastery rank, you would have a player level, like every other game. Instead of grinding out a bunch of equipment to progress, you progress naturally as you play Warframe in general. For the majority of things that would be locked behind mastery, it is instead locked behind player level. But then, what incentive is there to level up most of the equipment in the game? Well, digital extremes could make it so that you get slightly more player XP when leveling up equipment. DE will keep making equipment and people will keep using them. Not necessarily for the value of mastery after a certain point, but for the value of figuring out if they liked the thing. And if they do like it, they are going to format it, which allows for even more player level grind. So the game inherently builds incentive regardless. In terms of how to grind for that player XP, it should be primarily based on your own performance. There should be a good balance between personal mission participation and team XP. However, the issue is that if DE were to make leeching painfully inefficient, that might fuck over support roles and players who simply can't keep up with others in kills. Imagine having to level up an onslaught when you have a Vault or Saren in your squad. You're better off soloing at that point. As for what the level cap should be, that's up to DE. Whatever their choice, the time it takes to reach that cap should be a bit lengthy. Otherwise, everyone would be at cap in no time. Mastery can still have a role to play in Warframe if constructed differently. While the core game has you leveling up your account traditionally, mastery can instead be treated as an achievement system that rewards extended equipment usage with skins and or a slight permanent stat increase of the mastered item in question. You know how Call of Duty has gold gun skins and such? Same idea. Warframe can have its own blend of achievement-based cosmetics. Hell, for mastering certain weapons, you could be rewarded a free Wraith slash Vandal version. Now, with the sheer amount of equipment in the game, DE does not necessarily have to make achievement skins slash stats for every single item, but they can still do so for a good chunk of them. Mastery can also play a role in building higher tier or niche equipment. Let's suppose, for instance, that in order to be able to use two-handed Nakanas, you must be level 15 and have mastered two Nakanas and a greatsword. And this privilege can be earned through some reworked version of Conclave or something, I don't know. I think it's a much more fitting system than leveling a hundred weapons just to use a better weapon. Weapon mastery would remain irrelevant in the early to mid game, but would play a bigger role later when you've been playing the game much longer. I think mastery would start being relevant when the player is a few hundred hours in, and I think it would be alright for your player level to also provide slight boosted stats outside of mods. Either the player can select which stats to increase, or have just a general increase across the board. Whichever DE prefers, honestly. 
This stat buff should not apply to stats that would compromise certain builds, like EV Trinity or Slova, for example. And the stat increase shouldn't be so high as to encourage gatekeeping in late game missions. That would be an ugly scene to behold. With that in mind, I'd say the cap should be 15%. I should also mention that daily caps would instead depend on the player level. This fix isn't intended to provide a better alternative for that system. A standing fix would be relative to a syndicate fix, not a mastery one. Base mod capacity dependency would also be switched over. However, one thing I'm on the fence about is the mastery tests. Should they switch over or be abandoned completely? Honestly, they aren't relative to the core game, so why do we still even have them? Now, if DE were to take this fix into consideration, how should they go about releasing it? What I mean is, should the MR veterans be placed higher in the level system relative to their position in MR? Or should they start at level 0 to get a full taste of the system like everybody else? Or maybe put them at a slightly bigger starting point? I'm not sure which to choose. But should DE choose to bring everybody down to 0, I suggest a week or so of double affinity for older players. The mastery system is currently a hot mess. It's tedious and doesn't really feel worthwhile after a certain point. If DE were to tie in harder activities with your level, maybe then there'd be a slight better answer to the end game problem. I'd love to have mastery as an achievement system instead of a core essential, and a leveling system would make much better sense in terms of player progression. Because mastery was hard to understand early on, it would most certainly benefit the new player experience. Digital Extremes, if by some odd chance you're watching this, I know this is a rather radical overhaul that would take a while to implement. I can't speak for the community, but I do believe the community will thank you if you replace the mastery system with something better. That's all for now, students. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching Warframe Stigma.